Well, we are here in the NASCAR Cup Series garage, and all the men and women from Stuart Haas Racing are watching the cars being loaded into the hauler for the final time. I'm standing here with the driver of the number 14 for one final time, Chase Briscoe. Let's first and foremost talk about this team and the men and women that are standing around you right now. What do they mean to you? Yeah, they mean a ton. You know, everybody at Stuart Haas, right, has been, you know, like family. That's all I've known for the last seven years. And, you know, I've had great relationships with everybody, you know, on the four car, the 10 car, the 41, you know, and, and even more specifically the 14 guys, right? You know, I was telling somebody earlier, like, they are literally like family. Like, they come to my son's birthday parties. They literally came to our gender reveal for the, the twins. Like, they are a huge part of our family and you know just knowing that i'll never get to race with them again is the hard part you know we're we'll always be great friends we were joking we're keeping the the group chat alive like all the, all the things but um just knowing that we don't get a race you know together again is is sad so yeah had an incredible time at stewart haas racing for me it was getting to fulfill a dream you know just getting to the cup series was fulfilling a dream but literally as a little kid i would dress up in tony stewart uniform and helmet and play my racing video game and the fact that of all the cars that I could ever drive in the Cup Series, the fact that I got to drive the 14 car and, and you know, get in victory lane just uh, meant the world to me. I was crying literally before we rolled off. Um, everybody knows I'm emotional, but um, yeah, I didn't think it would it would mean that much to me. You know, just it, I, I don't think it even hit me until I saw all the guys like they were tearing up on pit road too. So yeah, special day. Wish the result would have been better, uh, but I told them before. If, if we win the race, finish 36, let's just have fun and enjoy it. And we've definitely laughed and smiled more after a 29th finish today than we ever have. Well, you mentioned those emotions, and I was going to ask you about those anyways. What was so emotional for you when you hopped inside the 14? Yeah, honestly, just knowing that, like I was saying, like as a kid, like that's literally, I, I wanted to be Tony Stewart. Like that is everything I wanted to be. And knowing that that was the last time this chapter in my life was ever going to happen, um, you know, it was just special. My mom even texted me this morning. She was like, I can't believe the little boy that, you know, I grew, had grow up in my house is getting to drive for the guy that he always idolized and just enjoy the moment, savor it. And uh, I felt like I did that, you know, even like the last laps. I was racing for nothing, but I was like, I'm going to drive this thing as hard as I can just to say the last lap I ever drove was literally everything I had. So, um, yeah. Special day. I uh, wish the result would have been better, but uh, yeah, I just can't thank Stuart Haas enough. And finally, I want to talk about Chase Briscoe as a person because we've watched you develop on the track. But what folks maybe have not had an inside peek at is what this organization has done for you, the man. What has Stuart Haas done for you as a person? Yeah, they've definitely turned me into a man. I feel like, uh, you know, when I, I came here, I was super naive, didn't really know anything. I'd just been engaged and I'm a dad of three, right? Like I've, I've changed a lot um, since then. But yeah, I think, you know, I, I came into Stuart Haas and was the young guy and didn't know anything, was super green to how NASCAR worked. And, you know, I got to, you know, learn under Kevin Harvick and Eric Almarola and these guys that were veterans of the sport. And, you know, when they went away last year, you know, it kind of made me have to grow up really, really quickly and, you know, kind of be the face of Stuart Haas in a sense. And, um, you know, try to be the leader. And that was something that I, I never had to worry about when Kevin was there. So I had to grow up really, really quickly and lead by example, you know, with how I race my teammates, how I act at the shop, how I am in debriefs. And that's something that, you know, I'll take with me the rest of my career. And that's something without Stuart Haas and the structure that we had, you know, I would have probably never learned that. We'll go celebrate and enjoy the men and women of Stuart Haas Racing. Thank you. Appreciate it.